Welcome back to another episode of Camping Gear TV. I'm the Cold Mac, Josh Turner. And I'm the Daddy Mac, Ben Niffin. And uh, we're back once again. And uh, today we're looking at a couple of knives. This is, uh, these are knives from Gerber. Yes. Gerber, thoughtfully, looked at uh, CampingGearTV.com. They said, we've got to get with these guys. This is the future. So they sent us some knives to look at. And actually, they sent us they sent us more than just knives. Yeah. But they they sent us two knives we're gonna look at today, and then we got mm -hmm. some more products from Gerber coming up in some future episodes. So this is our uh, down the road a little bit. Right, right. So yeah. we're, we'll start with the knives first. So really, really cool stuff. First of all, yeah. Gerber I think is you know everyone knows very well known in the uh, outdoor knife multi tool arena. Yeah. So they make really good products for people to, to take outside, mm -hmm. and uh, they make baby food too. Yep. So, interesting combination. Carrots in little jars, ground up into a mush. And Peaches and all sorts of taste combinations. Very interesting. Delectable treats. So this first knife that I'm holding up here is, the, the knife is a very epic knife, and that's why they called it the epic oh. knife. So it comes with a sheath, which that I will show sheath. here. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, we'll leave it off for a second. We'll come back to that. The knife itself, uh, let's see here, we have a open blade length of seven, I guess we're saying this right here, 7.3 inches, and the yep. blade itself itself is 3.45 inches. Yeah. Okay, its weight is 5.12 ounces. Right. And its uh, handle is made out of textured glass-filled nylon. Yeah, and you know, when I was using it, that was the thing that, that really struck me the most. I felt like it was a really unique uh, material that the handle and the sheath were made out of. It well, felt like, you know, the grip was nice. It was just different. It struck me. And it felt like maybe when wet, it might do well. Yeah, I think so. They had this loop that you can see cut out here that really allows you to take mm -hmm. hold of this knife and really grip it. I mean, you could really get at a bear with this thing if they, they were coming and yes. charging at you. Yes. And so, and what's really cool, so it's the uh, machine work on the steel is just yeah. very high quality. Gerber makes really, really high quality products. Mm -hmm. And so this is a really, really good knife for the outdoor professional. But they thought, why don't we add a feature that's good for the weekend warrior yeah. too? They put a bottle opener on the back, so that's really kind of cool. Because even people, yeah. if you're if you're not out to like hardcore camping, but like going out with you know your friends over the weekend, getting some drinks, you know, doing whatever, hanging out by the campfire, mm -hmm. you still need a good knife with you when yeah. you're out in the wild. And uh, this one has a bottle opener. And the bottle opener is an extension of the tang. And so, you know, a full tang gives you, you know, the, the most strength and durability in a knife. And then the bottle opener is, is simply an, extent, an extension of the tang. Yeah, if, if you were to see down the back, yeah. it's connected. Right. Okay, you can see that the knife, the yeah. steel, runs all the way through. And so you're really not, I can't imagine you're going to find a bottle to put up a fight, but still, you're just, you're not going to break it. Right. That's what we're really getting at yeah. here. Yeah. Nice. And with that weight that you mentioned, five ounces? Yeah. It's, I mean, that's a good knife for backpacking. Yeah, it's it's light, but I mean, it can do some, some damage. You know, we were talking about just some ways to show how easy this thing just like, we'll go through cardboard. And cardboard. Yeah. yeah. Wood. You know, light kindling. Yeah. I mean, it'll mess some stuff up, and that's what you need in that. Tear, tears rope apart. Really, really, really good knife. The, if the bears see you with that knife, they will not even step. No, they're going to cower, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So this knife here, it's got a clip, and on one side, you know, so you can put on your belt, and on the other side, they've got a little plate that says the company name, Gerber. Yes. Kind of nice. The clip is screwed in. So you can flip the clip to either side you want, Very or nice. you can reverse it so that you could have, you know, you could put the clip in your pants like this and pull down on the knife, or keep oh. it straight up and down for traditional use, I guess. Rambo style. Yeah, yeah. The clip is a little cumbersome, I found, to get, or the sheath, to get in and out. It takes some practice. Mm. If every time I pass this knife on to someone who has not used it and not been familiar with it, they have trouble getting it in and out of the sheath. So it does take a second to get a hold of. All around a good knife. Once you used it a few times, though, did you, you get the hang of it pretty yeah. quickly? Yeah, you do. All right. So sometimes putting it back in, you want to hear this click. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't get that, and you think, 
is it in yet? You're still pushing real hard. <laughs> Anyways, the Epic sells on Gerber's website for $55. I'll be honest, it's cheaper other places I've seen, $30 to $35. It's a deal for 30 bucks. Yeah, so really, really good knife to deal. The other knife we got here is called uh, the Mini Remix, which is a, a different version of the Gerber Mini. And uh, I love this knife. This may be my new pocket knife that I, I, I carry around. Really? First of all, it's got a real interesting design with this, uh, this pivot piece here. You see this circle and the blade just pivots along here. Right. I think one of the nice things about this knife is that the smaller a knife gets, the, tough, the tougher it is to hold it to really grip down and really cut through something. Okay. So this knife is, is a smaller type knife, but because they have this that hole there with the pivot piece, you can really grip it, you know, really hard. And I mean, this sucker is so sharp. Right. You know, I think this one's sharper than the other one. Oh my. I mean, just absolutely annihilates anything I take this to. Rope, yeah. box, you know, just whatever. It's just, man, it just it destroys yeah. it. It's good. So open length, this is uh, 5.6 inches. The blade length is 2.05 inches. And we close yeah. this puppy up. It's uh, 3.55 inches, comes with a comes with a clip on there so you can clip that on your nice belt clip. one thing how much does it weigh it weighs 3.4 ounces so it's real light one thing I like to do is sometimes because I like to have a knife close by when I'm backpacking but sometimes I like if I'm out on a hike where I'm not out for too long I'll keep my phone in my pocket and I never like having my knife I'm always afraid that I'm going to forget my knife is in my pocket and put my phone in there and scratch it yeah so you know if I have a pack on I can carabine this to the outside. That's right? pretty sweet. And so I, yeah. you know, I kind of like that. That is sweet. Blade has a thumb stud in it to help open it up. Uh, seeing if there's anything else here. No, just this, no. Uh, they say this is an open design frame. You can see through the handle, okay? And I think one of the reasons for that is just kind of uh, cutting down on weight, keeping it light. And it is a locking uh, a locking blade handle, which, which I think is just necessary. If it's not a fixed blade, I just, I can't tolerate it. So yeah, you, you, there's, yeah. there's, a, there's a bit on the inside you just push, close that puppy back up. Well, very attractive knife. Yep, this sells for $30 on Gerber's site, oh. and I know you're probably not as well. surprised to find out on many other sites you can get it for cheaper. I saw it for $15 to $18. 15 bucks? Yeah. That's a... I know, I'm telling you, man. I, if I had to sum this thing up in one word, it would be sharp. I mean, the... the the machining on this yeah. blade again is just really, really good. Yeah, I, yeah. fifteen dollars. Well, I love what you said too about being able to put it on a carabine, and you know, if you're backpacking, that's right. Yeah, because I'm always, I don't know, I'm always worried that I'm going to scratch the face of my phone because I'll be thinking yeah. I'm not, I'm going to forget that I have my knife in my pocket. And fifteen bucks, I mean, get out of here. Right, seriously, it makes me want to like throw Gary across the room. I know, and I mean, you know, once you take down the bear with this knife. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you might be able to take down a bear with that knife, but that that knife will also skin the bear, keep your family warm through the winter. You can't beat that mm -hmm. deal. Can't beat that. So thanks to Gerber for sending us those knives, and we've got I believe it's two other products that are completely different. So uh, more coming. Two more, two more coming down the road. So again, thanks to Gerber. Thanks to you guys for watching. Come back, check out more videos, leave more comments. CampingGearTV.com. See you next time.